quick history lesson. John Cena in 2012 was the first superstar to unsuccessfully cash in his Money in the Bank contract. Two. Three. Getting back into the ring now. King, you can take a breath. As a competitor, I can tell you that it's every superstar's dream to one day main event WrestleMania. I can also tell you that only the absolute elite ever gained that status. And Bam Bam Bigelow is among that elite crowd after squaring off against Lawrence Taylor in the main event at WrestleMania 11. What's your analysis of Bam Bam Bigelow? Definitely looking good so far. Hasn't taken too much punishment up to this point. And now it's Fandango trying to build momentum. Without a doubt, the city of Boston is home to some of the greatest fans in sports entertainment. Just listen to this passion. That WrestleMania 11 match really helped catapult Bigelow's career. After that, the Beast from the East went on to compete in high-profile matches against the likes of Yokozuna, the British Bulldog, and Goldust, to name a few. Yeah, and don't forget, he also went on to great success in ECW and WCW. He even won the ECW Championship in 1997, as well as the organization's television title at the Living Dangerously event in 1998. This will be a physical battle. You're right about that, Cole. This is going to be a war. This could be so physical that it gets really ugly before it's over. Bam Bam Bigelow hits the deck hard. Heads up! And that was a costly misstep. Fandango's exciting entrance is just the beginning. As the ballroom dancer enters the arena with all the pomp and circumstance, pageantry and charisma, he feels the WWE audience can handle. When the bell rings, Fandango utilizes his fancy footwork and dances all over his opponents. Cole, when Fandango's famous entrance song, Chakalala, plays, the crowd leaps to his feet and sings along with WWE's resident ballroom dance expert. But when the match starts, Fandango's tactics are, well, let's just say, not appreciated by everyone. I like it. Let's get this thing done inside the ring. Twice as nice. Good Lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark. Fandango prides himself on everything he does in the ballroom and in the ring being a perfect 10. He fancies himself on being enticing to all who see him. And let's face facts, Fandango knows how to make an entrance and an exit. No one loves Fandango like Fandango. No, oh, wait, nice reversal. Look at the pain on his face after that neck breaker. Fandango is going for an encore here. One of the most popular dances on the planet is the Fandango. When Chakalala hits, everyone starts Fandangoing. In the ring, Fandango's fancy footwork makes him wrestle circles around his opponents and infuriate fans. They love doing the dance, but they despise the man who created it. That's an enigma if I've ever seen one. Oh, wow. I have a feeling we're going to see several more demonstrations like that before the night's over. Fandango with a nice reversal. Whoa. Doing a great job of avoiding any serious Two. offense. That'll go a long way as this one progresses. What a decapitating lariat. And that's a shot that could drop a grizzly. When you look at the career of Fandango, you have to look at when and where he made his in-ring debut here in WWE. 
WrestleMania 29. What's even more impressive is that Fandango defeated a future WWE Hall of Famer in Y2J, Chris Jericho. And I'm not even discussing Fandango's brilliance on the dance floor. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. Five. I don't like how slow he is to react right now. He's simply reminding him that he's here. Well, we're on the move here. Fandango exhibited his innate ability to infuriate and disgust. The single leg Boston Crab. Oh, oh man, a hole named after the Bean Town. Six. Seven. These are great competitors, great, tremendous gladiators here in WWE. Some of the best superstars that WWE have to offer. One. Playing mind games. Yeah, a little Two. intimidation there. Three. Back in the ring again. Good. Keep it in the ring, guys. Well, those kind of acrobatics will keep the eyes of the WWE Universe on you at all times. Yeah, I know. After that, I couldn't believe my eyes. No! Well, here's all you need to know about Bam Bam Bigelow. He's nearly 400 pounds, but executes a flawless moonsault like a man half his size. It's among one of the most awe-inspiring things I've ever seen. Looking to go skyborne. I don't know how much more damage he can take. Getting some air here. I need some too after sitting next to you. He's making a statement here with this attack. Wow, he's still down after that. That shot. Bam, bam, Bigelow with a nice reversal. You talk about Bigelow's moonsault and his amazing agility. Let's not forget he's also not afraid to employ a running senton from time to time. I've talked to 300 pounders who wouldn't even dare execute a senton. And here's Bigelow, nearly 400 pounds, running around like Rey Mysterio. Yeah, but Bigelow also likes to utilize his size and strength, which is what really makes him a threat in the ring. You really have to watch out for his power bomb. And don't forget that skull-crushing DDT. Ow! Ooh. Attacking from the top. Look at this hang time. Incredible. Oh. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. You know, in all my years, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody as menacing as Bam Bam Bigelow. I mean, who covers their entire skull with flame? Say hello to Bam Bam Bigelow's greeting from Asbury Park. This has got to be the end. Oh, Bam Bam Bigelow, he's a beast. The city of Boston has played host to some of sports entertainment's greatest moments, including the night Stone Cold Steve Austin captured the WWE Championship from Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 14. Without a doubt, the city of Boston is home to some of the greatest fans in sports entertainment. Just listen to this passion. For me, King, the flame tattoos are only a fraction of what makes Bam Bam Bigelow so menacing. Let's not forget that this man is a cheeseburger shy of 400 pounds and can literally squash anybody you put in front of him. Yeah, he can. But even more impressive is that despite being nearly 400 pounds, Bigelow moves around the ring like a cruiserweight. I don't know if I've ever seen a man Bigelow's size do cartwheels. Five. 
This kind of Six. offense he's known for. Yeah, you're right about that. He's made a name for himself with this. Seven. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. Eight. Here we go. Back inside the ring. What do you mean we? We're still outside the ring, Cole. It's them. They're inside the ring. Oh, going to the top. High risk. Watch out! Oh, what's he gonna do to follow that up? He's in full-on attack mode now. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. He's still not through. These guys are giving it their all here tonight, not just to entertain the fans, but to ultimately walk away with the win. He's going to take a chance here. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be worth it or not. Boy, there's no what the hell? And that's why it's called high risk, ladies and gentlemen. Fondango turns it around. Look at this. Just look at this, King. And someone wants to question Fondango's obsession with looking fabulous and humiliating his opponents. Oh, that sure nailed him. Ouch. Oh, did you see the force behind that? It only takes a couple of those to bring his night to an end. Whoa. I like it. Let's get this thing done inside the ring. Oh, he's down. Fandung goes down. Fandango with a nice reversal. Here we go. Fandango, what a crafty maneuver. Oh, man. There. He thinks he has it. Fandango's, oh, what a huge win.